right, it's Friday at TGIF, everyone. Weather for Weather Geeks time on another pretty busy afternoon across the area. We've had some real uh, gully washers, uh, real Florida-like air mass, and some Florida-like thunderstorms out there today, that is for sure. And just like yesterday, some places have had basically nothing. Some places have had a few inches worth of rain today. Here's a look at our, our rain gauge network, and you can see that we have a rain gauge near Jackson Center over in Mercer County registering 0.73. A lot of skinny numbers otherwise. Now, this rain gauge that is labeled Mesopotamia is just outside of the zone that got slammed by a pretty good thunderstorm earlier on today and prompted a flood advisory for a time. And some radar estimates up here in that far northwestern part of uh, Trumbull County. Uh, pretty impressive stuff here. Just on the near the border, Trumbull, Ashtabula, Geauga border, three inches plus worth of rain. Uh, thankfully, uh, that storm then dissipated. Now, over the last half an hour or so, uh, early this evening, a flash flood warning was issued for parts of western PA, including southeastern Mercer County and a good chunk of Lawrence County. We've had a doozy of a storm over here, around and north of Newcastle, up to a couple of inches worth of rain in a fairly short amount of time. And these are just radar estimates. Uh, I think uh, some places may have had three uh, before all is said and done with that activity. I'm recording this video at 7.17 p.m. That flash flood warning runs until 10. Otherwise, there's not a lot going on in, in Columbiana County, aside from a stray shower down towards uh, Selineville. Uh, a couple of downpours along 224 in Mahoning County as of this recording, but most of the activities over here in western PA where we're getting some blinding rains right now along Route 19, along Interstate 80, 62 in Mercer County, and heading down 376 into the Newcastle area. 224 as well, and uh, I-79 extending down into far eastern uh, Lawrence County, closer to Slippery Rock. Uh, some real uh, blinding rains out there early this evening. Uh, stay tuned on my social media for uh, more real-time weather updates throughout the evening, and of course you can keep tabs on everything on the Storm Tracker 21 app. Otherwise today, what a bust! Temperature-wise, we had 82 in the forecast today. Um, the clouds broke for sunshine a little bit faster and at the airport it was another pretty dry day today another miss so if we had had a thunderstorm at 2 p.m at the airport our 82 would have been uh, probably in the ballpark but because we stayed dry because we had a fair amount of sun the airport got to 91 this afternoon our ninth 90 degree plus day of the summer season and again this mid or central florida air mass continues to hang out our dew point 70 here as of 7 18 p.m and lower 70s the rule throughout the Ohio Valley and the Lower Great Lakes. All right, we're going to do it again on Saturday. Uh, maybe a shower in the morning. In the afternoon, most of us are dry. Some of us can get a downpour. It can rain like crazy for 15 or 20 minutes in a couple of spots. A lot of us will miss out on that. There's, you know, it's. I, I've gotten it, you know, from all directions this week. Questions about, hey, is it going to rain at the Italian Fest, Columbiana County Fair, Parish Festivals? Uh, on and on and on, and yeah, it's just it's it's just almost impossible to say with any sort of lead time. Everything's just randomly scattered. This is the kind of stuff that they deal with all summer long in places like Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. Our radar today and yesterday, kind of a daily occurrence down there. Uh, up in our neck of the woods, it's not quite as common to just see these just days where you just have these random thunderstorms that can really mean some business and a lot of us stay dry. But that's the kind of pattern we are in right now. Now, Sunday, I have lowered the rain chances down to 20%. Not going to take them to zero, certainly. Still a steamy air mass. Just not a lot of a, not a lot of, uh, not too much of a trigger, I should say, for any showers and storms Sunday. Uh, a little bit more sinking air, I think, overhead on Sunday. So, yes, a shower, a possibility. I doubt we have very many real hefty downpours and thunderstorms on Sunday. And a lot of the day will be rain-free and just hot and humid once again. And then the well-advertised changes uh, already showing up on the weather map Monday morning. This is the cold front. Now, this is a slow mover at first. It's going to take until really Tuesday night uh, before this starts to clear our area. On Monday, it's still well off to the west. So another steamy day Monday. And I don't think it rains much either on Monday. But then Monday night into Tuesday into Tuesday night, higher chances for rain, certainly could be some bouts of heavy rain along that front. All right, so again, lots going on around the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys this weekend, including the Greater Youngstown Italian Fest. I could smell all the great food when I stepped out uh, out the door at dinner time this evening. Nice crowd out there, and uh, hopefully we stay dry for the rest of this evening. If you're heading downtown Saturday, be prepared for the possibility of a downpour. Smaller chances on Sunday. One thing for sure, it's going to be warm. It's going to be humid. It's going to stay that way through Tuesday. Look how juicy the atmosphere will be 
as that front arrives on Tuesday. High amounts of atmospheric moisture here. Uh, so yeah, we could squeeze out quite a bit uh, on Tuesday and into Tuesday night with our sluggish front. It may take until Wednesday morning finally before the front completely clears the area. And then, yeah, the dew points are going to drop. The real juicy tropical air mass gets shoved down into the Carolinas and uh, parts of the uh, southeastern U.S. and the mid-Atlantic states, and we will get a chance to finally uh, breathe a little bit. Now, it's not going to be, we're not going to mistake this for an October-like air mass, but a dew point in the upper 50s to around 60 is a lot better than a dew point in the lower 70s. So, yeah, I think that change will occur Wednesday afternoon and into uh, Thursday and into Friday of next week. Before we leave you this evening, quick word about the longer range. I haven't showed uh, one of these maps in a while. I show these more in the, in the uh, cold weather season, but around this time of the month, around the 4th, 5th, 6th, uh, we get an update on the uh, what we call the European seasonal modeling. And basically this is a set of modeling that breaks things down by month, even by three month chunks. And uh, oftentimes it does pretty well with its temperature forecast for month one, you know, you can look at data going out six months on this model. Month one, it tends to do pretty well picking out the general trends. And across North America, probably a cool August compared to average in Alaska. With the monsoon season kicking in, probably cooler than average for a good chunk of the month in, in the desert southwest around here. Yeah, and I think this is generally the right idea. I would expect August to come out in the wash as pretty close to average temperature-wise. And I didn't show it graphically, but that same set of modeling has us being a little bit above average precipitation-wise in the month of August. Now, we get our official re weather records, of course, at the Youngstown Warren Airport, where there's been hardly a drop of rain so far in August, while some of us in the last few hours have picked up three inches. Um, so it's going to be one of those things where your mileage is going to vary. But generally, as a region-wide generalization, I think we'll do a little bit better in August than we did in July in terms of total rainfall. Again, I'll have uh, an update on social media throughout the evening on our uh, rain, especially in Western PA. We'll recap everything on 21 News at 11. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks. Have a great weekend, everyone. I will see you right back here on Monday.